Hello students. Okay, in this video, we're going to look at equations that uh, contain a fraction on each side of the equation. So having a look at our first example, on the left hand side, I'll just change to my pen tool. On the left hand side, we have the fraction 4 take 3m all over 2. And on the right hand side, the fraction 1 take 5m all over 3. Now it turns out the easiest, uh, or the best step to do here is to get rid of the fractions as soon as possible. So we can actually get rid of both of those fractions in one step. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do before I do that, though, is put in the brackets that were implied. All of that's divided by 2, and all of that's divided by 3. So putting in the, the brackets that uh, um, actually are there but weren't written in. Second thing I'm going to do is change my subtraction to add the negative. Change that to add the negative. Okay, now, how would I get rid of this uh, 2 in my denominator? Well, the way we've done it in the past, um, that operation there is divide by 2. So I'm going to multiply by 2 to undo the divide 2. And I'm going to multiply by 2 on that side. And the idea behind that is 2 divide 2 goes to 1. So that effectively cancels out. So what I've ended up with is the 2 that wasn't the um, denominator of the left-hand side is now in the numerator on the right-hand side. Similarly, I want to get rid of the operation divide by 3. Well, the opposite of divide 3 is times 3. And I therefore have to multiply by 3 on the other side as well. The reason for doing that, of course, is 3 divide 3 is equal to 1. So those two operations cancel out. And what we're left with is 3 outside the brackets, 4 plus negative 3m equals 2 outside the brackets, 1 plus negative 5m. Okay, we've seen equations like that before, but what we did here is we multiplied both sides by 2 to get rid of the denominator of 2. And we also multiplied both sides by 3 to get rid of the denominator of 3. Most students will realize fairly quickly that the effect of that was this 2 that wasn't the denominator on the left is now in the numerator on the right. And the 3 that was in the denominator on the right is now in the numerator on the left. So that's like a little shortcut. Um, sometimes that's called cross multiplying. Okay, let's go ahead and finish solving this equation. So as we've done before, we start by multiplying out the brackets. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 3 times negative 3m is negative 9m. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2 times negative 5m is negative 10m. Okay, now we've got to decide what we're going to do to both sides of the equation. I've got an m on the left, I've got an m on the right. So I could add 9m to both sides, or I could add 10m to both sides. Now if I add 9m to both sides, that's going to um, cancel out, or well, that's going to go to 0. But I end up with negative 10 plus 9, which is negative m. So I ended up with a negative coefficient. So I'm better off adding 10m to both sides. It's not wrong to add 9m to both sides, but it means the rest of the equation is a little bit harder to solve. Minus 10m plus 10m cancels. That leaves just a 2. 9m plus 10m leaves just 1m, or just m. So now I get the equation 12 plus m equals 2. Subtract 12 from both sides, because I've got an add there. The opposite of adding is subtracting. Those um, go to 0, leaving just m. 
and 2 minus 12 is negative 10. So final answer, m equals negative 10. Now, I could go ahead and substitute that into both sides of the equation. But once again, I think in this case, I've got just as much chance of making a mistake in substituting and evaluating than solving the equation. So possibly a better way to check the equation is just carefully work through your steps. OK, let's have a look at the equation here on the right hand side. So I'm going to do the little shortcut uh, for this particular one. I know that my first step is to multiply both sides by 3. And the effect of that is to get rid of that and to multiply the right hand side by 3. The other step that I can do, um, uh, the other stage I can do of this step is dividing by 4 on that side. I can multiply by 4 on both sides. That uh, removes that 4 and puts it on the top of the left hand side. So my new equation becomes 4 times 2 is 8 outside of 3x take 5. And the right hand side, 3 times 3 is 9 outside of 5x plus 1. So the original equation had fractions on both sides of the equation. Um, my second line of the equation, I've got rid of the fractions, and now I've got uh, brackets on both sides. Well, we learned in the last video how to solve that. So I'll change my subtraction to add the negative. 8 times 3x is 24x plus 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. Let's show the operation. 9 times 5x is 45x plus 9 times 1 is 9. Okay, step 1, remove the fractions. Step 2, remove the brackets by expanding. Okay, now I've got variables on both sides of the equation. Um, I'm going to now take the smaller of the two, subtract the smaller of the two from both sides. Take 24x from both sides. 24x take 24x uh, goes to 0, leaving me with negative 40. Uh, 45 take 24, well, 45 take 20 is uh, 25. Take another 4 is 21x, or 5 take 4 is 1, 4 take 2 is 2. And then copy down the plus 9. Okay, now we've got a two-step equation. The fact that the x is on the right-hand side um, isn't a problem. I'll just leave it there for now. First thing I'll do is subtract 9 from both sides. And they go to 0, leaving just 21x. And negative 40 subtract 9 is negative 49 equals 21x. Last step, divide both sides by 21. And now I'll write the x on the left-hand side equals negative 49 on 21. And normally we just leave those as improper fractions. If you want to change it to a mixed number, 21 goes into 49 twice. Two 21s are 42. So that leaves, oh, it can be simplified. So that was worth doing. Um, two and uh, 20, seven twenty-firsts, which is two and one-third. So what I should have done on this side, obviously, I'll have to give myself a bit of extra space, is I should have said I can divide top and bottom by three. Uh, sorry, divide top and bottom by seven. Seven goes into 21. Three times, seven goes into 49, seven times, and I get seven over three, or two and one third. 
And once again, I wouldn't bother substituting that back into the original equations because that's going to be too hard to do. So just go ahead and double check your solution. Okay, here's a couple for you to try. So turn off the video um, and have a go. Okay, welcome back students. Let's go, uh, let's hop right into this. Notice the one on the right hand side doesn't have a fraction on the right hand side. Um, we'll come to that one shortly. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put the brackets around the expressions in the numerator, change the subtraction to plus a negative. So that 4 goes into the numerator on the right. That 5 goes into the numerator, sorry, the 4 goes into the numerator on the left. The 5 goes into the numerator on the right. Expanding, in fact, I won't expand the brackets yet. I'll just copy that. Try to do just one step at a time. So there's my new equation without fractions. The next step is to multiply out the brackets using distributive law. 4 times 2a is 8a plus 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 5 times a is 5a plus 5 times 1 is 5. Um, subtract 5a from both sides. And they cross out, leaving just a 5. 8a take 5a is 3a plus negative 4. And I now have to the opposite of adding negative 4 is adding positive 4 to both sides. 3a equals 9. And dividing both sides by 3 a equals 3. And you could try to substitute into there or just check your steps very carefully. Okay, what do we do on the right hand side? Well, what we can do is ignore the fact that we don't have a fraction on this side and just again put brackets around that for now and put brackets around that because what we need to do is multiply. In fact, I'll put that over 1. The 1 goes up there. The 2 goes up there. And we end up with, cross those out, we end up with 1 outside of 8x plus 3, which is just 8x plus 3. And on the right-hand side, 2 outside of 3x take 4. And again, I should change that to plus negative. Plus negative. Oops, that doesn't look real good. Plus negative. So effectively, what we ended up with is just the 8x plus 3 on the left and the 2 outside the brackets of 3x plus negative 4 on the right. Again, we're multiplying 2 by all of that. Okay, next step is expand the brackets on the right. 8x plus 3 equals 2 times 3x is 6x plus 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Subtract 6x from both sides and that goes to 0, leaving just the negative 8. 6x, sorry, 8x takes 6x is 2x plus 3, <clears throat> excuse me, equals negative 8. Subtract 3 from both sides. And they cross out. And I'm left with 2x equals negative 11 divide both sides by 2, and x equals negative 11 halves, or as a mixed number, 
negative 5 and a half. So to summarize, if you have fractions in your equation, either on both sides or on one side, um, what you can do is multiply both sides of the equation by the denominators. In this case, multiply both sides by 5, multiply both sides by 4. In this case, we just multiply by 2. And second step, multiply out the brackets using the distributive law. Third step, if you have the variable on both sides of the equation, then simplify it and get the variable on just one side. And then you normally end up with just a two-step equation to solve from there. Okay, so... Um, this is getting fairly complicated because it's one, two, three, a four-step equation, maybe a five-step equation. But if you go through it carefully, um, each step by itself isn't all that hard. So what makes it a bit difficult is you've got to do um, five steps correctly. Okay, <clears throat> thank you very much for uh, listening to this video. <clears throat> My voice is starting to go, so I might have to stop for a while. And in the next video, we're going to show you what to do if you've got to do some simplifying first.